Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hi everybody. How are you all doing? Good? That's great. Okay, so I hope you all understood the submission process. Yes? That's great. So let me tell you all, it is very important that you make your submissions. And why is that so? Because only if you make your submissions and attend all the four classes in a month, will you all get your certificates. And we want the certificates, right? Good job. So make sure you all attend all the classes and make your submissions in time. Yes? Okay. That's great. Okay. So let's move on to today's topic. And today's topic is the joy of giving. So let me ask you all, when you'll have a chocolate and maybe your grandparents, your parents or your siblings ask for a bite and when you give them and they give you that big bright smile, don't you feel happy? Yes, that is exactly what we are going to do today, but with the help of a little story. Okay, it's a story of a little puppy who learns to share and he sees, okay, maybe by sharing and by giving something, I can receive happiness and he definitely receives happiness. So let's go through the story once. Yes. Okay, good job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my story with you all. So let's go ahead. Shall we start? Okay, great.
okay so let's see the video again from the starting okay so now this is a story about three people so there's a man okay a fisherman there's a puppy and there's a bird okay now the fisherman has a little puppy and he decides to go fishing and he takes the puppy along and let's see what happens so let's see from the start So these people go for fishing and how will you go for fishing inside the sea? That's right, you take a boat. So they took a boat and they went to the middle. Did you see the small little birds, the insects? Okay, they are not birds and they are neither insects. So what are they? They are dragonflies. Okay, so the puppy was chasing a dragonfly and he was also observing the fishes. So it's very important you look at each and every detail carefully. Okay, let's go ahead. What is this that the man is taking? Can you see this? What is this? Okay, so now when you go fishing, obviously the fish is not that silly to come and get stuck in your hook, right? So you need to give it a bait. And what's a bait? A bait is to attract someone okay so what they do is they put the worm they hook it to the uh, fishing rod and they put it inside so as soon as the fish goes to eat the worm they pull the fish out that's how you catch a fish so let's see how he does it he hooks it and he threw it inside the water and we have a guest over here who is it the bird happy to see until the bird decided to take the worm and dog got really angry he's like one second that's not yours and he started barking and the man did not realize that the bird had come and he's taking the worm so he thought that this little puppy is just making noise for no reason so he was like Shh, don't make noise the fishes will get alert and they won't come and i won't be able to catch them so the puppy was a little upset okay i'll just sit down quietly and the bird came again so cute right And now he was very angry. But then he thought, if I shout, my man will hit me again. And he was punished. Can you see? Like, if you make a lot of noise in school, what, what will the teacher tell you? Go and stand in that corner. Don't make noise. That's what this man did to the puppy. Let's go ahead. And the bird came again. And this time, the dog was very angry. He was furious. And he did all he could to save. See, can you see? He was trying all he could to save the little worm from this evil little bird. Yeah? Let's see what happens. Finally, he saved it. And finally, the man also saw the bird. So, he, he just shoo that bird away. And the puppy was happy. He was like, finally, finally. Neither did I get any scolding, nor was I asked to be quiet. And the bird also did not take the worm away. Yes, isn't this little puppy so cute? Okay, so I think the story is pretty interesting. But when will we learn the joy of giving you? The puppy is not allowing the bird to take anything. Okay, hang on everybody. We are going to come to that part. So till then, why don't we take a short quiz? So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to post the link in the chat section and in the comment section on YouTube. All you need to do is click on the link and go get started. Yes, I'll give you two minutes and then we continue. We will solve the quiz together definitely and we will also continue and let's see what happens ahead. I'm really excited. Okay, let's go start.
Did you like the story till here? Yes, it is like it's okay till here, but we want to learn the joy of giving, right? And we want to see how does the puppy change. Yes, okay. Let's complete the quiz and then we go ahead. Okay, I can see almost everyone has started attempting the quiz. Good job, guys. I want you all to finish it too. And it's an easy peasy quiz. So I'm pretty sure all of you all will get it. So don't worry about it. Okay, those who finish, just give me a thumbs up so that I know you have completed and we will go ahead, definitely. Yes? Is everyone done? Yes, I can see so many thumbs up. Good job, guys. For all those who are still doing, I'll just give you all a few seconds more and then we discuss the quiz, okay? Okay, shall we discuss? Yes, okay, let's go ahead and discuss the quiz. Okay, let's start. So your first question is, where was the dog? Was he in the boat? Was he in his house? Or was he in the forest? We did not see any forest. We did not see any house. So definitely the dog was in the boat. Correct. Very good. Next one. Whom was the dog barking at? Was it barking at the fish? No, if you saw in the start, he was looking at the fish and admiring them. Like he was in awe. And Tiger? No, we did not see any tiger. Man? No, he wasn't barking at the man. In fact, he was trying to save the man's worms. So, whom was he barking at? The bird. That is right. He was barking at the bird. Good job. Next. What color was the dog? Now, this is pretty easy. Was he black? No. Was he gray? No. Brown? No. What color was he? White. Good observation skills. Very good. Very good. Okay. What had the bird come to take? Had he come to take the worm? Had he come to take the dog? The man or the fish? The man was trying to catch the fish. Definitely not the fish. How can he take the man? Right man is heavy. And dog? No, because the dog was barking at him. Why was the dog barking? Because the bird had come to take the worm. Good job, everybody. Very good. So, yes, you're done with the first quiz. Good job. Okay, are you excited for the second part of the story? Yes? Okay, so let us continue. Okay. Let's go. That was 
good so yes let's continue again let's start so where were we right here okay so the bird was shooed away and the bird went back where the dog was shocked to see two its three little baby birds and the baby birds were chirping so much because they were expecting mummy to get worms to eat right they were hungry but mummy could not get them so what did mummy offer mummy offered them fish mummy told it's okay you can have the fish and let's see their reaction they got angry they got upset they're like come on i'm not going to eat the fish we are not going to eat the fish we want worms so the mummy was sad she was like what can i do now and can you look at the puppy he was sad too he was like what have i done i am starving these little birds so he decided on something let's see what he did he took the worm and he asked the bird come birdy take it and give it to your children little babies the bird was shocked and happy and he said I promise I won't bark. I am going to sit there quietly. You can come and take them. So the bird flew and took the worm. And can you see how happily these little birds are chirping? Yes. So what they did is they started eating the worm. And can you see the puppy was happy? He wanted to see how they were eating, but they had to go, of course. Now tell me why is this puppy sad? Because the worms that he gave the bird was supposed to be used to catch fishes. Now how will his man catch fishes? So he was a little upset because he helped the bird. He was happy, but he was upset for his man. So let's see what happens. Which one? And he saw the bird with so many fishes. Yes, and he was so happy. And now the man was like, "What noise is this?" And he turned and he saw so many fish. Wow! And he was happy too. And he started petting the little dog. And who does not like being pet, right? All the dogs love being pet. He was so happy. And what did the dog see? What is this called? What is this insect called? A dragonfly. So the puppy saw the dragonfly and started chasing it. Yes, isn't this really so interesting? So what did the puppy do? He gave the worm to the birdie and he felt happy. Why? Because he saw those three little birdies eating those worms. So joy of giving, right? He gave the worms. He felt happy. But did you notice the bird also gave back the fishes? Yes, there was happiness from both the sides. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to be posting the link in the chat section and in the comment section on YouTube. All you need to go is all you need to do is click on the link and get started. So I'm going to give you two minutes to complete this quiz, and I have something really interesting for y'all. So stay tuned. Let's quickly complete the quiz and let's go ahead. Yes, good job, guys. Let's go. This quiz is also pretty easy. Just pay attention and give your best, okay? Let me know once you're done, and you'll know what you're supposed to. Give me a thumbs up. And then we go ahead, okay? I'm going to discuss the quiz with you all, and then we go to a very interesting section.
Okay, is everyone done? No, okay, I'll give you all a few more seconds and then we continue. Done? Good job. Okay, I can see almost everyone done. So let's go ahead. I'm going to discuss the quiz with you all right now. Let's start. Okay, what did the baby birds want to eat? Was it worms, leaves, rats, fish? Did the baby bird want to eat fish? No, they were very stubborn. They didn't want to eat fish. Rats? We did not see any rats. Leaves? No. What did they want to eat? Red worms. Good job. I'm happy you're observing good. Good listening skills too. Okay. What was the baby bird's reaction on seeing the worm? Worms. Were they sad? Were they happy? Were they angry? Were they angry? No. They were angry and upset and sad when they saw the fish. So what were they doing? What was their reaction when they saw the worm? They were happy good job okay next one what did the mummy bird give the dog in the end worms frogs fish turtles no the mummy bird did not give to worms right in fact it took worms from the dog frogs we did not see any frogs did we see any turtles no so what did the mummy bird give fish very good good job so you understood the story. I'm happy. What was the dog chasing in the end? Was it a frog? Was it a dragonfly? Was it the bird or was it the fish? Okay, the bird wasn't chasing a frog for sure because there wasn't any frog. The bird wasn't chasing the bird because the bird came and gave the fish. And definitely not the fish, right? So what was it chasing? The dragonfly. Good job, very good. Good observation skills. Very good. So we are all done. Okay. Now we come to our grammar section. Okay. Are all of you excited? Yes. Okay. Do you all know what topic we are going to cover today? It's really interesting. Let me tell you all. It's nouns. Okay. Do you all know about nouns? I'm pretty sure you all know, but maybe a little confused. So let's clarify. What are nouns? So nouns are nothing but person, place, thing, and animal. So for example, look around you all. Okay, me, I'm, I'm right in front of you. Okay, I am a person. Okay, maybe look at where you all are. Maybe in the garden, maybe in the house, that's a place. And thing, whatever you're using right now, your phone, your laptop, your tablet, all these are things a bag pencil ball everything is a thing a boat animal animal uh dog cat elephant tiger lion peacock even birds come under animals okay so all these are nouns so what are noun repeat after me person place animal thing very good let's go one by one into that okay so person who all can be a person Okay, uh, a boy, a girl, mother, father, teacher, policeman, milkman, washerman, grandmother, grandfather, aunt, uncle, baby, all of these are persons. Okay, they all are people. Let's come to the next one. Place. What can be a place? Beach is a place. Your house is a place. Garden is a place. Mountain is a place. Anything. School is a place. College is a place. Anything where you go is a place. Okay, next one. Clear till here. So you're done with person and you're done with place. Good job. Thing. So boat, table, chair, bag, phone, specs. All these are things. Yes, clear? So we are done with people, place, thing. Let's move to the last one. Animals. So what all are animals? Uh, elephant, fish, peacock, lion, tiger, dog, cat, 
mus mosquito, what else? Um, parrot, yes? All these animals, they all come under animals. So what all do we have? We have person, place, thing, and animal. Any confusion? Clear up to you? Wasn't nouns really easy? Yes? Good job. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to give you all another small quiz just to check if you understood it right. Before we go ahead, let's revise it once again. One last time, promise. What all comes under noun? Person, place, thing, animal. Good job. We are good to go. So I'm going to be posting the link in the chat section and in the comment section on YouTube. All you need to do is click on the link and get started. Two minutes, more than enough. And then I have an activity for you all. It's a really, really fun activity. So don't go anywhere, okay? Complete the quiz and come back soon. Okay, let's go. Is it interesting? Is it easy? All you need to do is apply your logic and answer the questions. It is really easy. I can ensure you all about it. And you all are going to have fun because there are a lot of pictures and guessing game in it. So yes, we will also be going through this quiz and then move on to the activity. So don't worry. If you all don't get it, it's okay. You all are just learning right now. Okay? Everyone's done? Okay, just a few seconds more and then we get started, okay? Because I can see most of you are giving me a thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, good job, everybody. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, which of the following are nouns? Places, things, people, animal, all of the above. I think places, things, people, animals, all of them are nouns. So your answer is all of the above. Good job. Let's go on to the next one. Select the animal from the following. The first one I think looks like a garden and garden is a place, very good. Next is cat. Cat is an animal. Very good. Third is a boy. And boy is a person. Very good. Last is ball. Ball is a thing. Correct. So the animal is cat. Good job. Very good. So you understood it, right? Very good. Next, select the correct noun for her. What does she look like to you? Teacher, right? Very good. And teacher, is she an animal? No. Is she a place? No, school is a place. Okay, is she a thing? No, a blackboard and a chalk is a thing. A stick in a hand is a thing. What is she? She is a person. Very good. Good job. Okay, next. Select the noun you can sit on. Chair, can you sit on a chair? Yes. Computer, can you sit on a computer? No. Guitar, can you sit on a guitar? No. So what can you sit on? Chair. Very good. So you all are all done. Very good. Okay. Who are excited for the activity now? I really want to know. Yes? All of you all. I am so happy to see all of you all happy and excited. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, 
let us quickly do the activity okay it's a really interesting activity so all i want you all to do is pay attention and stay focused okay just give me one second and i'm going to show you all the activity okay let's read the activity can you all see it good job draw your favorite noun and write a sentence on it okay so draw your favorite noun now what are nouns again person place animal thing very good so what all can you draw you can draw your mummy you can draw your daddy so these all are person people okay now let's come to first place places you can draw garden you can draw beach you can draw your school you can draw your house okay and then let's come to things you all can draw maybe a phone maybe a bag okay let's come to maybe even even fruits are things so vegetables are things so you can draw watermelon you can draw uh, tomatoes whatever you all want okay and things things you can draw your phone you can draw a ball you can draw a bag whatever you all write, uh, like okay and after that you need to write a sentence should i give you an easy example okay let's go and let's look at an easy example i drew a ball okay so that's the thing i really love to play ball okay so i drew a ball i wrote what it is it's a ball and i wrote a sentence sentence on it let's play beach ball because this is a beach ball and i love to go to the beach so i drew a beach ball and i wrote let's play beach ball okay so you all can draw anything you all can draw a person a place animal or thing okay any noun which you like and you'll need to write a sentence on it of course you can take help of your parents for the spelling no problem okay so let's quickly draw a noun write the noun that you're drawing and write a small sentence on it i think that's pretty easy and i would love to see colorful drawings if you all can okay so let's quickly go ahead and let's start with your drawings yes i can see all of you all have started but all those who may not have started let's start yes okay let's go ahead so i think 2 minutes are more than enough right okay in the meanwhile let me ask you all let's talk in the meanwhile did you like today's story yes will you promise to share your things with your friends with your family okay always be the person who gives more okay you will get what you want only if you give a lot okay so and mark my words when you give something the happiness that you feel is going to be a lot more than when you receive it okay so if you give mummy half a chocolate today you never know she'll give you a full tomorrow okay but don't be greedy okay just share your things okay and feel happy while sharing it that's most important okay second thing did you all understand nouns yes good job okay will you all remember it very good so let's revise nouns first one is person very good second is place very good third is things very good fourth is animal very good okay good job so let's quickly complete this and then we go ahead wow i can see some people are already showing me their drawings very good guys beautiful drawings okay so you all have also drawn balls i can see fruits i can see a mango very good mango season right good 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 observation very good very good i can see a phone yes oh, oh brilliant you can draw pen pencil eraser easiest to draw right very good smart kids very good very good okay so i can see so many of you all have done this so let me stop sharing and let me just give you all um the guidelines again so first let me ask did you all enjoy today's class i really hope you all enjoyed today's class yes okay so don't forget to submit your entries okay 
it's okay if you all haven't completed right now take your time complete it after the class ends and submit your entries and why are we supposed to submit the entries because we need the certification right so make sure you attend all four classes this month okay english classes and also the others of course so make sure you attend all four english classes and also give in all four entries okay once you'll make your submissions i'm going to personally go through them i'm going to select the top 10 entries and feature them on our website don't you want to get featured yes I would love to see a bright smile of yours with your photo. I would love to see that. Okay, so uh, attend all classes. Make sure you'll make your submissions in time. Okay, we give a two day span, so make sure you'll you'll submit it in time. Okay, and uh, just to give you a little bit about the next class, so that you all come and join me in the next class. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to learn how to value what we have sometimes what we do is like uh mummy gives us a phone okay to study since we're studying online nowadays and we just break it and we're like it's okay mummy will buy me a new phone now nah, what happens no problem at all but do you realize mummy's working so hard for that phone yes so we need to value what we have yes so we're going to learn this with a very very interesting puppet show who all loves puppet show yes all of us okay so we are going to have a puppet show next class and make sure you all come and watch the puppet show i am doing the puppet show for you all so see you in the next class i'm going to show you all the puppet show i'm so excited for it and i hope you're excited too so can i see you all in the next class yes okay good job take care of yourselves stay in and don't forget to submit your entries yes i'll see you all in the next class bye hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun filled learning session at yolo here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class as a first step go to live.yolo.com you can use any browser to access this site on this page you will see a list of all our classes scroll down and you can see the submit your work button and then you will see a list of the classes that you've last attended which could for example show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently next it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number choose your name from this list to submit your work for instance if you are satvik kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission for example if you've attended the new year's masquerade party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class click on the submit your work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken choose the image from your phone and click submit you can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work you can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends if you want to showcase your work on social media that too is very simple click on share copy the link and post it on instagram or facebook or any other platform of your choice just a tiny reminder Your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at yolo_app. I am eagerly looking forward.